It's an informative part. Oh, listen, uh, fine, I'll watch it. Most likely, I'm not gonna post it on YouTube. That's how it's gonna go. But let's watch this Spooderman Far From Home teaser trailer. Guys, I need to talk about this. So you guys better get your, your, your notebooks out and tell me what do you guys think? What do you like? What's going on? What, what's, what's the news and all this? Let's go and watch it. So good. Hey, sorry I'm late. So is that Aunt May? Thank you. You too. Thank you. New dress? Yes, it is. Yeah, <clears throat> what just happened? I'm trying to fuck your aunt. Planning a trip? Mm hmm. Going to Europe. Just fucking smell this. Ugh. Did you get your passport? Peter Parker here to pick up a passport, please. Mini toothpaste? Mm -hmm. Pack your suit. I just want to go on my trip with my friends. Europe doesn't matter. Bring it. Bring, bring this. Spider there's no Spider-Man movies. You don't fucking bring it. Right? You look really pretty. And therefore, I have value. No, no that's not I'm right. messing with you. <laughs> you look pretty, too. I just want to spend some time with MJ. I think she really likes me, too. No. Me All one right. Person. Okay. I just finished my phone call. Fucking kill them. He did! So nice to finally meet you, Spider-Man. You motherfucker! You're Nick Fury. Put some clothes on. Let's go for a ride. Is he gonna be okay like that? Might want to turn him over so he doesn't swallow his tongue. <laughs> I think Nick Fury just hijacked our summer vacation. Alright, the best part would have been is like... Spider-Man would start saying like, what? Say exactly, exactly. <laughs> like, say what again? Say what again? I dare you, I fucking dare. <laughs> Greatest minds think alike. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, okay. That's from the previous video of Skyrim. So if you guys are interesting in YouTube, go watch it. Just search the channel. I fuck, I'll put the link in the description. I don't care. I gotta read all that. I'll read it after this. Spider-Man's fucking flying. Okay. All right. It's okay, Nick. It's okay. <laughs> Got gifts, Parker, but we have a job to do. I don't like the, the when the suit doesn't have the spider web thingy. You're all alone. Your friends are in trouble. Oh, that's a nice spider suit. What are you gonna do about it? It's the it's spider boy versus the water boy. You don't want any part of this. Is that Mysterio? It is Mysterio! Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Who is that guy? He's like Iron Man and Thor rolled into one. He's no Spider-Man. What is it with you and Spider-Man? What, he looks out for the neighborhood, has a dope suit, and I really respect him. What's up, dickwad? Funny. All right, hold on. Let me check that that spider suit, though. Where is it? Where is the fucking stealth spider suit? I missed it. I saw it. You're fucking around here. Fuck it. I don't care. Uh, let's post it right here. So, Mysterious in the movie? Um, was in the previous movies? Again, I haven't watched any superhero movies in a while. Which, by the way, we're going to start playing Spider-Man tomorrow in this channel. So if you guys want to watch that, come and join me again tomorrow, Sunday, uh, after Smashing Sunday. So right after Smash Brothers. So I remember the stream starts at 10.30, two hours for Smash Brothers, and then Spider-Man. If you guys want to watch me play Spider-Man. I finally gonna get to it. But like I was saying, chat, 
I want your opinion also on this uh, trailer. It looks pretty fun. It looks pretty nice. I'm digging it. <sighs> it's just that I'm kind of tired of the teenager uh, Spider-Man. Especially since it's the comic books. I mean, the big, you know, the original comic books. Spider-Man didn't spend that much time as a fucking teenager. It, it spoiled Infinity War. I bet, right? <laughs> Watch it. All of this is just a, a dream. A Spider-Man dream that happened while he was dying. There you go. <laughs> there you go, I fixed it. Well, yeah, uh, I mean, I kind of understand what you're go getting at. I, I like you're you're changing core characters at this point. For what reason are you changing the the characters? Are you doing it for the right reasons? Are you trying to cater to other demographics? There's always questions that you gotta ask yourself. When you change characters that are beloved by other people. So. <laughs> so it feels like there's a problem of management when it comes to these movies at this point. So I, I, I'm getting a vibe in the chat that people is a little upset about movies being spoiled. So at this point, that is management. Uh. <laughs> is he still a bully though is, is Flash a bully he should you know he should be a little intimidating right but uh MJ is kind of scrawny though yeah like but then again everybody's scrawny. everybody's super young though that's the thing and I'm tired of the you know teenager you know Spider-Man so it's like, ah, it's called Spider-Man, not Spider-Kid. So I was like, I get it. Fuck, even, uh, even Aunt May is fucking young as hell. She's still in the fuckable range. I don't feel comfortable having an Aunt May fuckable. <laughs> I have not. Uh, I've been meaning to go and watch it with Paris, but we haven't had like uh, our schedules, you know, align in a, you know, in a precise way to go watch it. But I'm trying to go and watch it hopefully this week. I, I want to talk to her and see if we can go and finally go watch it. Because I seen the trailers and I like what I see. So... If anything, every problem that I have with this movie, I just put it in my head. It's like, it's just another universe. That's how you solve problems in comic books. It's a different universe. You don't have to like the changes, though. But you can always fall back to the the with that to that thought that it's like, it's just a different universe. It's just that I'm really tired of teenage Spider-Man. Give give me an adult Spider-Man. Unpopular opinion. Even. Toby my wire is still my Spider-Man. There, I said it. Okay, there you go. He spent as a teenager, like the first act of the movie. That was it. Then he went to get a job. <laughs> there you go. I like my Spider-Man being a man. <laughs> College Spider-Man. I'm, I'm, I'm just tired. Of like the whole kid bullshit, but you know what? A lot that it, the whole point of having Spider-Man as a teenager is because it, it it makes it more relatable to a, a younger audience, right? But you know, you can always give that younger audience uh something to work towards, like, give give them a a role model. So. Uh, I prefer the 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 Spider-Man role model to the you know relatable Spider-Man. All this his best stories are from his college days and yeah, I I'm not disagreeing with you. That's why I'm tired about fucking teenage Spider-Man. We need some sexy black cat action. I fucking agree with you. God damn it. And we can't have that 
with fucking tiny little five-year-old Spider-Man. Because he's going to see fucking Black Cat. He's going to like, uh, uh, oh, me pants. To be honest, I don't like any of the Spider-Man. If I had to pick one, it would be this one. Well, guess what? If I have to pick one, I will pick Tobey Maguire all over again. I don't care what people says about the old Spider-Man movies right now. They, they were good, and they were the standard for superhero movies at the time. Yes, they got wacky moving forward, but technically that's what happened with every fucking movie. It reaches a point where it doesn't matter how good it was, if you keep milking the same fucking cow, you're gonna fucking... She's gonna run out of milk. You know, stop beating that dead horse. There's just gonna be a puddle of blood and chunks in the floor at one point. And that's that's what happens. That's what happens when you beat a dead horse. But, yes, I said it. The first movies were fucking good. Alright. And they were fucking fun comic book movies. They were bright as shit. Spider-Man was cool. He taught some lessons. But, yeah. Uh, that that was the only good movie for you? That was the second one, was it? You see? Guess what? I, I, I kind of like uh, The Green Goblin. It was so over of the top. Um, What was the name of the actor? I forgot. He he played Ryuk in the awful Death Knot adaptation. Uh, fuck. Ah, fuck. I have his name at the tip of my tongue. Chad, help me. Green Goblin, uh, fuck, uh, Will and the Foe, there we go, thank you. By the way, the internet w wanted Will and the Foe to play Ryuk for ages, a ages. It was a meme, and the fact that they actually made it happen, you know, is so sad that it was such a waste of a movie. Was such a waste. That was a horrible movie. But this is not about Death Note. This is about this. I, anyway, I like him as Green Goblin because he was so over the top. He was crazy. He was. Uh, by the way, Spider Man, best Thanksgiving movie. There, I said it. Because that Thanksgiving scene, you know, with uh, Mary Jane, uh, you know, Green Goblin's son. Uh, the Green Goblin and made everybody were in it together. It was great. <laughs> he's a he's an amazing actor. But anyway, I don't know. There's a few things that I don't I, I don't like about the new Spider Man. But still, that is just me. And on what Spider Man are we on right now? This is like the the third Spider Man, right? Because. There was another one with another dude. And then they rebooted that. And now we got this dude, right? So it's like... I'm just tired of Teenager Spider-Man. Give me a dull Spider-Man. Anyway. Enough with Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have a lot of opinionated people in the YouTube video. Which... Sure, you guys are welcome to express your opinion. Because after all, that's what we do here. We said a lot of things. We talk out of our asses. This is the third set of fun, yeah. <laughs> we don't talk about Andrew, man. <laughs> anyway, moving on. I mean, I'm glad that he's doing the gliding thing. You guys remember the, in, in in the old cartoons when he, like, spider webs his arms and he's fucking glide? Fucking great. But anyway, I, there's a few things that I, don't, I, I do not agree with, so... Eh. Moving on. I don't know if I'm going to watch it. I mean, is, am I going to start watching Spider-Man movies now? Probably not. But eh. Anyway, moving on. Oh, wait. Mysterious in this one, though. I always wanted to see a Mysterio in, in, in a movie. Is is he acting like a hero in this one? I'm, I'm confused. He better be a villain. A very narcissistic villain, too. But anyway, moving on. Whatever. 